Yeah, wonderful start. guys so uh working my way through the sand now this is where we're at uh these are my two items of choice to carry the sand and i've got a couple shovels and uh, ultimately i can get more sand in this obviously i can pull it with my lawn mower but the heavier it just becomes a hassle such a hassle to dump it and to deal with that i'm finding it easier just to fill this up Take it to where I want to go and dump it that way because it just it's a lot easier, lighter, and for me, more reps is okay because it's less strain on my body. Walking is not that big a deal. It's the it's the lifting and stuff. All right, so as you see over here, I've put out piles of sand. Uh, it's going to try to get everything done today, hopefully, because it's supposed to start raining again. So I just want to get the sand on the yard, and then tomorrow is supposed to be a pretty good day, and yeah, I can come back and drag it all. Yeah, this area here, uh, I wanted to go ahead and test the uh, the drag and see how it went. And uh, also, I didn't know how to, I wanted to see how the rain affected everything. So I put this out, did this last night. It rained last night, rained this morning, and uh, kind of get an idea of what's going on there. All right, so I got my hoses rolled up because over there is where they're uh, hooked up. And I've got the sand here, and we've getting, been getting rain on and off all day, but... you can tell we're getting a lot of green a lot of growth so this area is coming in pretty well you can see right here it's starting to uh, spread all through there so looking good like we may get more rain of course didn't rain all last week here we are
comes the rain. Woo! All right guys, so we're on day three now. Sun's out, sand's dry, it's ready to spread. And uh, while the rain was going on, I added these two brushes to the drag here. And I've got them set just a little bit lower than the bottom of the drag, so I'm hoping that this will help uh, brush in the sand. And I was also getting lines on the edge. So I'm hoping that this will eliminate the lines. So I put it just out past the drag. There's a little gap in the center, but I think it'll be fine. So uh, we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna get started. First thing before I do this, I'm gonna rake all these piles of sand and uh, get them lower. That way my mower is not hopping all over them like I did the other day. So let's get going. Lifting was over, but not quite. <laughs> I've got the sand leveled out for the rake. Now it's time to drag it through. I'm out of breath. I'm just gonna keep adding piles of sand uh, when I think that I don't have enough, which is what I'm doing now. And uh, I've got plenty of sand left, so I'll just keep adding, keep going. Some areas are just hard for me to get to, so I'm having to pull the drag by hand.
All right, guys, so I've done a pretty good bit of leveling. It's my first time ever doing this, so I'm not sure really how it's gonna turn out. Um, not sure if I did a good job, not, did, not sure of anything. But I am gonna turn on the uh, sprinklers and let it water in. And uh, I've got plenty more sand if I need to fix some areas. The yard has kind of some rolling hills. There's not a whole lot I can do about that, but I just want it smooth. So uh, we'll see how it looks once it uh, the grass fills in. It's kind of hard for me to tell right now. So uh, I'm gonna turn the sprinklers on and see where we're at. All right, guys, I'm just gonna uh, sweep all the sand in. Uh, it's been two days since I did this part because of rain. So I'm a little ahead of the other side, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this in. And then once I water that side in and let it dry, I'll sweep it in too. 